Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the guided art meditation tonight. Um, before we dive into our introductions and some guidelines, our meditation teacher, India Clark, would like to guide us in a quick century. So, India. Thank you, Liz. So I'd just like to invite you to pause for three conscious breaths, just natural breath with your eyes closed or with a softened gaze just to land and connect with yourself in this moment. Thank you. Thank you, India. Um, my name is Liz Gardner, and I'm the Director of Interpretation at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. I had the pleasure and the privilege of working on the Shen Wei Painting in Motion exhibition at the Gardner, and I'm thrilled to be with you tonight for this program. I want to welcome you to the second in a series of three guided art meditations related to the Shen Wei exhibition, which is currently on view through June 20th, 2021. Before we begin, I would like to go over some helpful tips and guidelines for our meditation session this evening. The Gardener is an inclusive place that welcomes everyone. To have the best experience today, we recommend that you turn your camera on if you are comfortable doing so, that you name yourself and add your pronouns, and that you use the chat actively and courteously to share questions and ideas. Please be sure to take care of yourself and each other during our time together tonight. For this meditation, we have kept your video active to help facilitate a virtually, virtual community experience, but we have turned off your audio. If you have any questions or technical difficulties, please use the chat feature at the bottom of your screen. We have support staff monitoring the chat and they'll be able to assist you. At the end of the meditation, there will also be an opportunity to ask India any questions or share any comments. We recommend that you change your settings to speaker view in the top right corner of your screen so that you have more control to see the artwork that we will be focusing on for this guided meditation session. Once you select speaker view, you should then see a series of boxes pop up with different video, including mine. At the top of those boxes are a row of rectangles. We recommend selecting the middle rectangle to show the active speaker video. In the bottom left corner of the speaker's video, there are three white diagonal lines you can adjust the size of the video by clicking and dragging those lines. And finally, a live transcript is available during this program at the bottom of your screen. And so now I'd like to introduce our meditation teacher for this session, India Clark. India Clark is a life path mentor for creatives and the founder of the Wayfinder Institute, created to unlock the power of art observation and mindfulness to spark personal growth and well-being. India mentors individuals and groups of creative souls to find and follow their true path in life and work. She combines a background in mindfulness, yoga, and art museum education. India received a 200-hour yoga certification from Kripalu Center for Yoga and Health, a 500-hour certification from Shakti Initiation Women's Leadership Training, and is currently training with Tara Brock and Jack Cornfield in a two-year mindfulness meditation teacher training program. She has a master's degree in museum education and has worked with many museums, including, of course, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. I'm so grateful to have been working with India over the past year on several meditation projects at the Gardner, and I know that you are in for a very special experience with her guidance tonight. So with that, I will turn it over to India. Thank you so much, Liz. It's really an honor to be here with you. So let's again pause and just close your eyes or you can soften your gaze if it's not relaxing to close your eyes. And just check in with the body and breath. Just noticing how you feel and connecting with what brought you here tonight. What was your intention? in coming here, knowing that just being aware of intentions is powerful on its own. My intention is always, as I sit down to meditate, to be present for my life. And my hope is that we will all feel protected and nourished together within this space that we're creating here this evening. I want to take this opportunity to honor the Asian origins 
of both the profound artistic lineage that's evident in the artwork we'll look at tonight, and also the Buddhism and yoga philosophies that our mindfulness meditation practices are derived from. Over the past 2,500 years, countless Buddhists and yogis across Asia have contributed their hard work and intellect to develop and nourish and teach these practices that we all can still turn to in modern times for wisdom and healing. So let's pause again in a moment of acknowledgement and gratitude. And we're also adding the Gardner Museum's recent Solidarity for Asian American Community statement to the chat, if you'd like to look at that as well. So to outline what you can expect from this experience tonight, we'll focus on a single image from Shen Wei's Suspension in Blue series. And that will be the object of our mindfulness and relaxation practice for about 25 minutes of focused um, all guided meditation. So whether you have tons of meditation um, experience, this will feel like something hopefully new and fresh. And if it's your first time, and likewise with art observation, um, if you're if you're experienced or if you're a complete beginner, you're in the right place. I'll be guiding you. And if you happen to have a piece of paper and a pen handy, that may be helpful for a little bit of reflection that we'll do at the beginning and end. Um, but if not, you're fine to just follow along and, and reflect in your mind. So for those of you who um, aren't already familiar, Shen Wei is a Chinese artist, um, dancer, choreographer, painter, who in his approach to making work seeks to align the energies inside and outside the body approaching the body and its environment as fundamentally connected. So this is something that we can also do as mindful viewers. Our looking can be an act of alignment, aligning the energies inside and outside the body. So we're experiencing not only the body and its environment as interconnected, but also the body and the the artwork that body observes as interconnected. And you may come to notice that what you see can be a reflection of what you're living. So this is part of why I find mindful art observation can be a particularly good technique for activating the insight element of uh, what meditation can offer. There are many different benefits to meditation, of course, and different reasons that we come to meditation, different things we come seeking, including stress reduction and emotional balance, increased focus, um, increased creativity, and of course, insight on our lives. Insight and wisdom tend to come naturally when we practice being present and when we allow our awareness to include everything that arises, everything from pleasure to discomfort with an attitude of relaxed friendliness. It's always easier said than done, but that is always the practice that we're in. So the trick, of course, is not to um, force it because when we strive too hard for insight and for awareness and for presence, we can miss what the simplicity of the moment has to teach us. So I invite you to approach this practice tonight with about 50 to 70% effort and the rest just letting it happen. So to begin, if you do have something to write with, please jot down just a few words, maybe three words or so, about how you're feeling right now in your body and emotions. And we'll come back to this again at the end and we'll compare. All right, so let's begin. 
We have our image up. I recommend full screen to get the maximum impact of what we're looking at here. And just enjoy taking in this image, looking all around it. Trusting your eyes to really find their way into this and to explore going back and forth from broad, big picture to focusing in on the details. So we're just getting to know it. You're noticing the pace of your eyes as they move around this. And see if you can slow them ever so slightly. Lingering just a little bit longer in the detail. And notice which parts of this you feel really drawn in by. The parts that grab your attention and hold it. And then balancing that with noticing any areas you feel averse to or numb to, or just you just don't find yourself noticing. See if you can bring your attention to those areas as well. Noticing in the image places that you feel especially curious about, maybe leaning in to look a little bit more closely. And noticing your breath moving through you as you look. Where are the places in the image that feel like places of rest to your eye, to your nervous system as you look? And just orienting towards rest. You could close your eyes if that's comfortable or gaze downwards if it's not desirable to close your eyes. Turning inwards with your attention. And really welcoming anytime you feel a natural deepening of the breath leaning into it, but no need to force the breath, just letting it naturally unwind and slow all on its own. And just accompanying the breath with your focused mind, your focused awareness.
See if the breath can be smooth in and out, in and out. Bringing some attention to your posture so that you find a way of, of sitting that balances alertness and relaxation. Upright without over efforting. And to support you in this, really focus in on your connection to the ground through your seat, maybe through your feet, depending on how you're sitting. And just feeling into the body sensation of that connection, that contact to whatever is beneath you, whatever you're sitting on or standing on. And knowing that whatever that is that holds you is in direct contact eventually with the actual land. So we're landing here on the land. And by pressing into that land with your sits bones, you can rise up through the core, through the shoulders, relaxing into open heartedness. Relaxing into the back body, broadening across the chest and presenting as much as is possible to whatever degree you feel able, presenting an open heart. And knowing with your eyes closed that the artwork is there. And maybe you recognize it in your mind's eye. You're recognizing also that you are a part right now of a community of meditators. Within this community here and beyond, other meditators beyond. In this moment in an attempt to open hearts and land. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes again. And you can look. Stay internal as long as you'd like to, or open, just noticing whether you're feeling more inward or you begin to look outwardly. Noticing any thoughts that come through the mind and allowing them to just flow be welcome and pass on through. So the attempt is to not judge, which can be challenging, can be part of the challenge of meditation, but allowing the thoughts to come, notice them and go. And we can include that in how we look. So we may find ourselves jumping to conclusions or developing narratives about what we see And the invitation there is to, to notice that without attachment to it. Looking and breathing.
Remembering the intention to achieve interconnectedness between the artwork and the body. And if it feels right to you, as you look, you can reflect on this question and just lightly trusting whatever comes to you with light effort. How are you feeling at this time in your life? How are you feeling? How have you been feeling at this time in your life? Bringing a little bit of ah, breath and personal reflection into the experience of being here. If you'd like, you can write it down or just hold it. It may be a few words, two or three words. How are you feeling at this time in your life? And now we'll begin a practice that's inspired by a meditation technique called Tratak, which is a type of candle gazing meditation. And we're not using candles here. So we'll be using the artwork as the sort of illuminating factor and gazing at the artwork as long as it feels comfortable to hold your gaze there. You can play with looking at the image as a whole or focusing on detail. And when the time feels right, and you'll know from your own senses, from how your body feels, when the time comes to actually close your eyes or soften the gaze, look away. You can cast your gaze downwards if you don't like to close your eyes or close them completely and hold the image in your mind's eye, holding it gently, but consistently for as long as you can. So imagining that image as a candle flame that when you close your eyes, you can still see and you stay focused with that until the image in your mind's eye fades. When it does, that's the moment to open and look again and come back to the image, take it in as long as you can stay and just alternating back and forth like that between eyes open and eyes closed. And we'll do that for about five minutes. And staying with the breath and the body as you look inward, as you look outward.
Okay, just noticing how it is that you know when it's time to change. From inside you, there's some sense, now it's time to open my eyes. Now it's time to close them. Where is that sense in you? If it's a struggle to know when to open and close, you can count five breaths with eyes open, five breaths with eyes closed and alternate in that way. Just staying relaxed as much as is possible. And anytime you notice something arising within you that is uncomfortable, just attempting to be with it, making space around it. And giving yourself what you need so not over-efforting, not forcing. The next time you Find yourself with your eyes closed. Can leave the Tratak practice there, releasing the attempt to stay with the image in the mind's eye. And just come back to observing your breath and the feelings in your body. Allowing everything that's true to be true. And you can imagine yourself sitting here as if you could see yourself from outside. Picturing the shape of your body within the room, picturing the shape of the room that you find yourself in. And noticing the shape of the inside of you as well, if you have a sense of that type of concentric shapes.
Noticing that you are here in a mindful moment. And see if you can feel the air all around front, back, and sides of you. Soft flowing breath. When you're ready, slowly opening the eyes, we'll look one last focused time at this image. Noticing what's here inside. inside it, inside you. Letting it come to you. Noticing what you feel drawn to, where your curiosity goes. And where there are places of rest. And I'll ask that question one more time, if it feels right to reflect on how you're feeling at this time in your life. And just notice what's here now. How are you feeling at this time in your life? You can write it down or you can just sit with it. Notice what you see and what you feel. And then we'll end with a self-compassion practice from Dr. Kristen Neff. So if you like to close your eyes, you can go ahead or soften your gaze. I invite you to place a hand on your heart, if that feels okay to you. Connecting with yourself. The first of three elements of the self-compassion practice is mindful awareness of what is. So accepting what's here, you might say, this is hard right now. Or in this moment, I feel content. Acknowledgement of what is. The second element of self-compassion common humanity. So you might say, other people feel this. A 
I'm not alone in this. The third element is loving kindness or treating yourself as you would a friend. So you might say, I see how hard you're trying. Or you're doing a really good job. Offering that to yourself. And this can be another place where the inside can be a reflection of the outside. Because to the degree that we're able to be self-compassionate and gentle to that degree, we are able to also be compassionate with others and grow a more compassionate world. So may our practice be of benefit for all. And Colin, you can move us to the next slide. So let's end as we began with just noticing how you're feeling now in your body and emotions. If you've been writing down, you can write it down or you can just think of maybe three words. And feel free um, if you'd like to see the range and the resonance of different responses, you can drop that into the chat and just share um, what changed for you from beginning to end. What did you notice in the image? What did you notice in yourself? So it's perfectly okay. It's personal. You don't have to share, but if you're interested, um, you're, you're very welcome to share your reflections in the chat. The most important thing is just to be present and notice if anything has shifted for you over the course of this, you know, not, not too much time, but just really allowing some spaciousness, some connection with self and with visual observation. I feel more peaceful and present. At first the image felt aggressive to me and I saw a lot of volatility. The final time I opened my eyes, I saw something completely new and it was so peaceful. I feel calmer. I went from feeling distracted and curious to focused and quiet. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing those more content with complexities, lovely. Thank you. So to end our practice, I would like to thank my teachers in the ancient lineages of mindfulness and yoga, which came to the West from across, all across the Asian continent. One of my teachers is actually here with us tonight, my first yoga teacher. I'd like to thank our artist Shen Wei for his embodied creativity, which became a platform for our reflection and relaxation tonight. Um, and I'd very much like to thank the Gardner Museum and all of its lovely staff who have truly worked so hard um, on this event and for, for all of your commitment to sanctuary, which brought us here tonight. And most of all, I'd like to thank all of you for being here, for carving out time and space to connect with yourselves, with yourself. It's, it's very um, rare to have that opportunity. And I think it's truly a gift to, to self and to community and the planet whenever we do pause and reflect. So thank you so much. I invite you to end with 
whatever type of physical gesture of closure feels authentic to you. And I'll turn it over to Liz. Thank you so much, India, uh, for this wonderful experience tonight. It's really fantastic to see all of the comments coming in. Um, and a big thank you to all of you for sharing your time with us this evening. This was our second of three meditation sessions. And you can follow India on Instagram at Wayfinder Institute if you'd like to learn some more. Um, we are adding some links to the chat for more information about the Gardner Museum Shenway Painting in Motion exhibition, virtual programs, and other recorded and upcoming live guided meditation sessions in May that we hope you will all come back and join us for. Um, Shen Wei is on view at the Gardner through June 20th, 2021. You can purchase a time ticket on our website at gardnermuseum.org, or you can also use the link that just went into the chat. So um, thank you again, have a great evening. Um, and, and if you do have any questions or comments, you can submit them in the chat and India will remain on the call for a few minutes. Thank you again.